So folks in Maine are starting to receive their stimulus checks now. The one-time checks are being given to Americans to help with financial challenges brought on by the virus. The checks are based on your tax returns. So what happens to those benefits if you're recently divorced or planning one? New Center Maine's Shannon Moss talked with a family law attorney today to get some answers. Imagine a married couple who filed a joint tax return in 2018 and had their refund direct deposited into their joint bank account. Then, imagine that same couple getting divorced in 2019 and no longer share that bank account. What happens to the stimulus money? It might land in an ex-spouse's bank account, which is not good. Heather Whiting is a family law attorney with Middle Asin in Portland. But what I'm hoping is that just by agreement, people will share those stimulus checks. That includes people currently going through a divorce. Typically what happens is they agree to file jointly for that year and share any tax refund or liability. So I'm hoping that because that's typically how it's handled, um, people will just share by agreement. But divorces aren't always typical, and neither is COVID-19. Whiting says this issue has already come up for one of her clients. Fortunately, she could call and talk to the ex-spouse's attorney, but that's not always the case. It's the cases where there's not an attorney to talk to, or you have a really difficult client who feels for whatever reason that they're entitled to it. Whiting says court is always an option, but like so much else right now, they're closed. There are things that we can file post-divorce and hope that they be heard. But again, it's going to be a cost-benefit situation, whereas it isn't really worth it. Whiting says this is a difficult time for everyone, and people should just try to do the right thing. He said this is unprecedented. It's totally uncharted territory for everybody, including family law attorneys. Shannon Moss, New Center, Maine. So the $500 stimulus payment for children will go to the parent who claimed the child as a dependent on the most recent tax return. And for people who claim the kids as a married couple last year but are now divorced, Whiting recommends, again, sharing the money if they share residency of the kids. Kind of makes sense. Mm -hmm.